saw on the news somebody who was paralyzed. Bill Maher has been getting destroyed a whole lot recently by people like Candace Owens and Tim Pool. On his own show, on his own podcast, he invites these guests on that are much smarter than him and then his woke talking points get destroyed. But on this clip right here, in these couple of clips that I'm going to show you, Bill Maher actually flips the script. As you can see in this tweet right here, Bill Maher flips the script on Kara Swisher after she calls Elon Musk a jerk. Bill Maher, he's a complicated guy. Kara Swisher says he's not, he's just not a complicated guy. He's just a jerk, but go ahead. Bill Maher then goes on to say, I can easily prove he's a complicated guy because yesterday I saw on the news somebody who was paralyzed, who was giddy with happiness because he was being able to play video games with his mind. That came from Neuralink. That came from Elon Musk's company. So Bill Maher, every once in a while, will have one of these red pill moments where he goes on to destroy one of these woke lunatics that he brings on his show. I ultimately think Bill Maher is completely lost and that he's never going to actually come over to the light side. I don't think that's going to happen for Bill Maher. But let me know in the comments if you think that ever could happen for him to actually come over all the way to the light side because he has called out the woke left on a lot of things. You know, a lot of the COVID or CV craziness that happened out there, a lot of the craziness that the left undergoes is called out by Bill Maher, but a lot of it is also co-signed by Bill Maher. And I don't think he will ever come over completely to the light side. Anyway, let's get into this clip here of Bill Maher on his show, Real Time with Bill Maher, calling out this woke lunatic for saying that Elon Musk is not a complicated guy. He's not very smart. He's just a jerk. Let's check this out here. You know, in the back of the book, instead of, you know, you do blurbs on the back of the book, I put all the insults they had, like, Elon, you're an asshole. Um, my, my, um, my voice is so shrill, only dogs can hear me, and that my heart is seething with hate. So that's what Elon thinks of me. <laughs> Which I'm like, look in a mirror, sir, but that's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. You see how much hatred there is for Elon Musk? Like, I'm not the biggest Elon Musk fan. I think that he claims that his platform is free speech. You hear me say it all the time. He claims his platform is free speech, but yet he, he bans people all the time for speech because certain three-letter agencies or three-letter organizations tell him to. Uh, but anyway, I, I still think he's, he's probably a net positive for the movement. You know, that we're trying to, you know, wake people up and, and restore just sanity within the nation. But it's crazy how much, how much real estate this guy has within these people's heads. Like, not just Kara Swisher, but you can hear the audience. Every time she throws out a little, you know, sassy remark about Elon Musk, the, the, the applause comes in. It's like, dude, he, he just lives absolutely rent-free in these people's heads. He's a complicated guy. Oh, okay, sure, why not? Well, I mean... How about he's just not a complicated guy, he's just a jerk, but go ahead. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, go ahead, I, he is complicated. But so are oh, you, I so am I. Okay, well, now you just debated with yourself and yes, agreed I did. with me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I can easily prove he's a complicated guy because yesterday I saw on the news somebody who was paralyzed. If you enjoy content like this and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, it really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Mm -hmm. Who was giddy with happiness because he was being able to play video games with his mind. Yep. That came from Neuralink. That's it, he, that's Elon's company. And so did the, my car. And so, you yeah, know. I get it. No, no I, 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 get, I like I, those Elon. I, I like I like Tesla Elon. I like right, Neuralink right, Elon. Right. I even like Hyperloop Elon. It's It's... Twitter right. slash X -E I, I agree. But in in the big scheme of things, where do you think his legacy will be in history? Because I've never seen anybody who has more articles written about him every day in the yeah. paper because he's got his finger in so many pies. And then he does. He's a very powerful guy. And it kind of scares me a little bit because, you know, you guys know, like I said earlier, I'm not the huge, the biggest Elon Musk fan out there. He has a lot of power, right? He can do a lot of different things. He he can buy companies like Twitter X that were very woke before, turn them into a lot less woke, you know, a lot better. He can also do that and gain the trust of a lot of people who are on our side. You know, a lot of people are diehard Elon Musk fans. A lot of people are going to get mad at me on the comment section of this video because I said I'm not a huge Elon Musk fan. Like, I don't I don't I don't trust the guy fully. He seems like Lex Luthor to me. But in terms of what Bill Maher asked there, what is his legacy going to be? These next few years are going to be what determines his legacy. I know he's done a lot of things in the past. You know, he talked Bill Maher talked about the Neuralink thing. You know, he's he's shooting rockets into space constantly trying to go to Mars. Um, he's done a lot of things for sure. Tesla, like there's a ton of things that, that Elon Musk has done, but the next few years are really what's going to like cement his legacy because he can do, he can, he can influence a whole lot of people with his money, with his, you know, influence on social media. He can influence a lot of people. So we'll see, man. It's, it's going to be interesting to watch what Elon Musk does. He's a very, very powerful guy for sure. Crazy stuff. He is, come on, spectrum me. Okay. So like, you know, he just, 
I don't know why he needs to high five these crazy people. I, I understand why he wanted to like have a platform where you have free yeah. speech. Twitter was way too in one, one camp. I get it. But like, why then embrace the worst people on it? Instead of dis say, okay, I'm going to let you talk, but I'm not going to, you know, go, hey, that was a good one, bro. Right. <laughs> That's where I don't get him. So, I, you know, I think a lot of these guys, a lot of these guys are hugely narcissistic. Um, when you become the richest man in the world, everyone licks you up and down all day. Uh, and they're violently in agreement with what you say. And so you start to really think of yourself as a god in a lot of ways. And he already was tending that way in that, in that direction. I think one person told me, Ben Mesrick, who wrote the Anti-Social Network, a bunch of other tech books, he said he thinks he's ready player one in a video game. Now, you know, Elon loves video games. I mean, he kind of is. Like, if you have that much money, you kind of are. You can do whatever the hell you want. But it's funny to me how they try to bring up all these different theories, like, oh, he's so narcissistic that he thinks he's God now. So I don't know why that makes him want to comment under, I don't know, mostly peaceful memes and, and other people who, who make fun of the left. Like, I don't know why that makes him... I don't know why him being narcissistic and thinking he's God makes him want to quote tweet Benny Johnson and stuff. But that's like they have to come up with these crazy theories to justify the fact instead of just coming up with the theory that they're wrong. Like the smartest guy in the world, even though he is a little spectrum, like for sure. Um, the smartest guy in the world who's built all these multi-million, billion dollar companies, you know, Tesla, Neuralink, all these things. It could just be that he has realized that he was wrong before or that this, the woke side is wrong and that the other side is correct. Could that not just be the case? Could it not just be, you know, Occam's razor? Like the, the, the simpler explanation is the correct one. Like, could it not just be that? Does it have to be that he's a narcissist and all these other weird ass theories, like the mental gymnastics these people play rather than just saying like, well, obviously they'll never admit that they're wrong, but just saying like, maybe Elon Musk is just a smart guy and maybe we should consider his points of view instead of just writing it off because we disagree with him. Like, isn't it, isn't it just wild, the mental gymnastics that these people play? And if you're ready player one, nobody matters but you. And that really, that's what happens with these guys, all of them, not just Elon. Um, as to the genius thing, Sure, but there's lots of geniuses. And, and it, you I kind of think more like Henry Ford, right? You're like, what an amazing contribution. At the same time, the anti-Semitism, you right. know, he was way down th that highway and racist and everything else. So how do you balance those things? If, just because you can land a, 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 a rocket. If you, yeah, if you can land a rocket on a surfboard, you can be anti-trans. I don't think so. Like, I, or say things that are so despicable. Um, I just don't think you have to choose or give someone an out. Okay, so it's like they don't care. Like, it's just crazy to me that a person can be Elon Musk level. And, and once again, not an Elon Musk simp at all. But the, per the dude has obviously made a ton of positive contributions to society, and there's no denying it. But you say one thing that is possibly considered anti trans, like the person said, and that's what writes off everything that you've done like that that wipes it away because you said one thing or a couple things or you quote tweeted somebody who might have said some things that you don't agree with oh it doesn't matter all these positive contributions that you've made to, to society to the human race it doesn't matter because you disagree with me on one small thing which in my opinion normal humans other outside of this time period everyone would agree with elon musk if he was anti-trans because you know just normal thinking humans normal working human brains would would also agree but also i don't think he's even like outwardly said anything like that i think he might just quote tweet people and reply to some people sometimes that that may be that way that might be considered to be that way but you know everybody in the comments are kind of just saying who was kara swisher and why do we care what she has to say why is she on bill maher's show we don't know so ironic listening to miss granite face analyze anyone else's narcissism like she's just getting absolutely roasted of course and i think bill maher i mean did a decent job of standing up to her but at the end of the day he kind of did you know end up agreeing that elon musk is an evil person but he's done some 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 good things so bill maher has some red pill moments where you think oh there's something in there there's there's there, there's something functioning in that brain you know there's little mice running around on wheels inside of there or something but then he'll go back tomorrow and just talk about how you know lose his mind about donald trump or something anyway let me know what you guys are thinking about this clip here on um, bill maher shutting down a little bit this woke lunatic on real time with bill maher let me know what you're thinking in the comments about the whole situation if you did enjoy the video please leave a like subscribe all that good stuff and i hope to see you guys on the next one